I really feel like as if a passion inside of me is um, fading out. Grade 7 student Keon Shapwells is appalled with the province's move. What was once a pilot program is now applying to all BC public schools, scrapping letter grades from kindergarten to grade 9. I've had a hard time transferring between the two due to the how vague the proficiency scale is. It seems very subjective. A very upset concern. Keon's mother, Mahda Buzadi, says a proficiency scale of assessment only encourages mediocrity and puts her children's education at risk. The system does not allow for a child's talent to be recognized. The way it's designed, I feel that it puts all kids in the middle. It's definitely time for change. Uh, letter grades are were a vestige of, of an industrial society. Faculty of Education professor at the University of British Columbia and elementary school grade teacher Dr. Victor Brar says the shift is part of an evolution in learning. It's a strength-based perspective where everyone is on the spectrum. Um, they're at different points on the spectrum, but nonetheless, they're on the spectrum. There's been a lot of attention online. Parents reacting to the news that only students in grades 10, 11, and 12 will receive letter grades and percentages. Instead of grades, students will be assessed as emerging, developing, proficient, and extending. We do not want to label our kids. We do not want a kid to be known as a B kid or C kid. Where I struggle to understand is that how is, let's say, developing or proficiency or extending is any different? While the case for and against grades is up for debate, school districts across BC are moving to the new system, for better or worse. Nagar Moshahedi, Global News.